Are you looking to start your own business, but you don't know what you should do? In today's video, I'm going to give you the three best ways to have a great business idea. So what's going on, guys? It's Josiah, your success strategist. And today I'm going to give you the three best ways for you to be able to actually be a business owner. If you're looking to start a business, but you don't have an idea, to this is the video for you. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and let's hop right in. The very first thing that you should do when it comes to coming up with ideas for starting up a business is to write down your problems. Write down all of the problems that you have on a day-to-day -day basis because opportunities are all around you. Opportunities are endless. We're living in a society where there's so many opportunities, it's hard to even pick one. And so if you want to be able to actually have a business idea that you feel will work, what you've got to do is you got to start writing down your problems. So here's what I mean. When it comes to you writing down your problems, and I'm going to write this down so that way you can have it in your notes, okay? When you're writing down your problems, what you want to do is you want to start thinking about the fact that Somebody will pay to actually have a solution to the problem that you have, okay? Because chances are they have that problem too. So when you think about, you know, the cell phone, when you think about bottled water, when you think about all of these inventions that are in the world today, a lot of those ideas and thoughts stemmed from a problem that somebody else had that they wanted to find a solution to. So once they found what that solution was for their problem, they just made it into an invention. They decided to maybe patent it, and then they continued to make it over and over and over again for a market of people that have the exact same problem. There are 7.4 billion people in the world today, and chances are, if there is something that you are recognizing as a problem in your own life, chances are that are people that are just like you that have that exact same issue. So whether it be something small or great, you know, don't hesitate to write it down. Maybe for some of you guys, you get up and you're going to work every single day and maybe there's a problem with your commute. Maybe you're getting up and you're going to work every single day and there's a problem with, you know, how you put your clothes together. I don't know what your problems are. You know that, but what you need to do is you need to start maintaining a list of all of the problems that you have, whether it be small or great, without judgment. And what you're going to start doing is as you develop this list over time, you're going to actually start mining through the different problems and you're going to start circling the ones that have some of the best opportunities for you to come up with a solution and a workaround, okay? So again, when you think about transportation, when you think about the shortage of taxis, what happens? Somebody comes out with the idea of Uber. When you think about, again, water, when you think about food, when you think about how people are always wanting to be fed and have meals, well, someone has had the solution in mind to say, hey, well, why is it that the only time that I get food um, sent to me is if I am either calling up like a pizza place to get food delivered or if I'm just going to the grocery store and getting food? Why isn't it that I could take these other different, you know, restaurants, grocery stores, etc., and have them delivered to my house? You need to be able to just jot down the problems that you have. You probably have uh, restaurants that you wish would deliver to your house. And you say, man, you know, I don't feel like going out. I want to eat, but I don't feel like getting dressed. I don't feel like going out. Oh, there's an idea, right? Getting restaurants that typically would not deliver to start delivering. You could have a whole world of ideas. The whole point is you got to jot it down, okay? That's the first thing. The reason why this one is so important, I know it might, may sound silly in how I'm explaining it, but the essence of business is problem solving. 
when you look at the top businesses in the world today, this is nothing more than just an exercise in solving problems for a mass majority of people. What problem does McDonald's solve? Fast food when you're crunched on time. Maybe you don't feel like cooking. Maybe you don't have a lot of money and maybe you want to be able to get something quick, fast, and in a hurry to get where you're going. This is why the fast food industry exists. Why does FedEx make money? Because people have uh, important documents as well as larger items that they need to be shipped to people at lightning speed. And so FedEx makes money from shipping uh, products overnight, right? So you got to think about how each one of these businesses is solving a very important problem in its own unique way. And when you become a problem solver, people will pay for your solution to that problem if it's good. Now, the second thing that I want to tell you is if you want to be able to identify a great business idea, you want to take something that already exists and then add it to a trend. Add it to a current trend in the marketplace, okay? Some of you guys, like one of the big reasons why you probably are feeling like, man, I want to start up a business, but I don't have any ideas is because you're so busy trying to obsess about doing something that the world hasn't seen yet. You're trying to make something just appear from out of thin air when really it would be better for you to take something that is already in the works and just upgrade it by adding it to a current trend, right? So again, did Uber just make something out of nothing? No, not really, right? Because cars were always around, right? Uh, as long as our lifetime has existed, cars have always been here. But what they did was they took something as basic as transportation and they created a business by adapting the sharing community. See, we're in a sharing community right now. People are sharing their cars. People are sharing their homes. People are sharing all types of uh, goods and services that they have just lying around their house that other people could be using, right? This is how Airbnb has become a big company. So what you've got to do is you've got to be able to look at something that already exists in the world today. Maybe it's something that's already in your possession. And instead of just thinking about, oh, well, you know, I got to make something from scratch. I have to be this grand inventor and I've got to patent something and I got to have a trademark. Get rid of all of those thoughts. Take something that is already successful in the world today, but add it to a current trend, okay? Many companies have done this. Again, did Netflix actually invent the idea of making a movie? Did they invent the idea of movie rentals? No, this was already in existence, but they just took something and they added it to a trend. What you've gotta be able to do is you gotta be able to understand what trends are actually hot in society right now. What are some of the technological changes that are happening that I don't foresee um, going anywhere over the next few years? You need to be able to take the trends that are in the marketplace today and you need to dominate and capitalize on those trends by taking something that's already uh, in effect in the world that could be upgraded if the trend was already added to it, okay? So again, just start thinking about things that you have now that you enjoy. What things do you buy? That's a good start. What things do you like to buy on a regular basis? So if you like to buy clothes on a regular basis, how do you take clothes and then add a trend to it? How, if you like to buy uh, supplements on a regular basis, if you work out, take the supplements and see how you can add it to a trend. Take whatever is already working and then just add the latest technological trend to it. And then guess what? You could be the next uh, person on the road to success. And once you accomplish that, don't forget about me, all right?
Number three, the thing that you want to do if you want to be able to um, start a business, and this is one of the things that I have personally done um, to get into the game, is you want to take what people have always said about you and just turn it into a business. Take what people have said about you, okay? So you plus business, okay? What do I mean when I say this? How did black men's careers start in the first place? Black men's career started all because of the fact that um, over the process of my lifetime, people always told me very consistent things. It didn't matter whether it was friends, family members, strangers, enemies, didn't matter who it was. Many of them all said the same thing. One of those things was, you know what, Uzziah, you're a speaker. I don't know what type of audience you're going to speak in front of. Maybe you might be a reverend. Maybe you might be a politician. Maybe you might be a lawyer. And in honesty, I didn't really think to be any of those things. I never had a desire to step in any of those industries, but it's something that people always said. So that was something. And then I've always heard people say over time, you know what, Uzziah, you're always on the computer. It's like you stay on the computer day and night. You're always messaging people. You're always trying to fix something on the computer. You're always checking this and you're always checking out. You're always browsing the web. <laughs> so, you know, growing up, I was the guy, bam, I'm on Black Planet. Growing up, I was the guy, bam, I'm on AOL Instant Messenger. I'm use, playing computer games. I'm doing all of these things on a computer. So, again, this is something that people are saying to me. And, you know, a lot of times when people tell us stuff about ourselves, especially if it's complimentary or if it's a pattern, we tend to hear it actually so often that as though we never hear it at all because it's already numb in our brains. But if people are telling us things about ourselves and you're noticing this constant pattern over time, what that really means is that they're letting you in on something that actually makes you stand out over the average person, right? So when somebody was telling me about my speaking, they identified that my speaking was something that kind of uh, made me distinguished over the average person. When people were talking about my computer skills and my interests, they were telling me that I like to spend more time on a computer than the average person. And so when you're able to take these things and turn it into a business, Part of the reason as to why you can be good at it is, is because it's something that you're already naturally good at doing, right? Um, if you're naturally good at doing it, all you have to do now is really hone your skills and take it from a natural strength um, into becoming a world-class skill. And so the third thing um, that people would always tell me about was my ability to teach, they always felt that I had a good style of being able to teach other people. So as I started to meditate and examine how there were all of these comments that were coming from all these different people in all of these different places, it wasn't that these people knew each other. They were, you know, from all these different areas of life, but they were all saying the same thing. I had to start recognizing that, you know what, maybe... I could just build a business off of the things that people are telling me um, that distinguishes me over uh, everybody else, right? So if you think about what black men's career is, this is me utilizing technology through a computer to be able to speak to you and teach you about business concepts that I have already learned. These are the same concepts that have already gotten me, you know, certain results between, you know, having my own real estate, but between having my own business, between having paid off student loan debt. All that I'm doing now is I'm taking the computer that I always use. I'm taking my speaking, which I'm always used to doing, and I'm just teaching you about the concepts that I would want to talk about even in my sleep. I would talk about all for free, which is why I'm giving this to you for free in this channel. I'm just taking all of those things and I'm meshing it together 
in order to help people all over the world that need to be able to learn how this is done. See, the thing about it in your life, honestly, you probably got a ton of gifts and talents that you take for granted on an everyday basis. You're so accustomed to doing what you're doing that you don't realize that there's somebody on the planet that would actually kill to do what you do in your sleep. People all over the world want to learn about things that you know how to do that you take for granted. So why not take those things and then just turn it into a business? And again, it's just a matter of finding the people of a like mind um, that have the same interests as you. And the internet makes that super easy, right? You can easily um, just search on Google, you know, whatever your interest is. And I guarantee you there are websites that are dedicated to it. And all you got to do is focus on setting up a business and start to promote yourself to those audiences. This is no different than what I do in black men's career. I find uh, emerging black professionals that are interested in their professional development. And I am speaking primarily to black men. That's the reason why we have black men's career. And so for those that align with those values, guess what? That's why you're on this channel. That's the reason why you're watching. And I'm trying to go out and find you. That's the reason why I always tell you to share this message with other people, to make sure that you subscribe. Also, what you need to be doing, if you enjoyed this video and you want to know how to be able to continue um, your business kind of entrepreneurial endeavors further, trying to get into that spirit of wealth ownership, you need to click the link below. You need to get into this free empire builder uh, that I'm giving to you, which is a free step-by-step -step walkthrough on all of the things that I did to get me where I am today. You know, for a lot of you that are watching this video, chances are you have an empire in your own regard that you're looking to build, whether it means being your own boss, whether it means paying off some debt, whether it means uh, transferring jobs so that way you could be in a better position in your life. Whatever your success means to you, now is the time for you to download that Empire Builder because I'm sharing it with you uh, over five consecutive days how to be able to start your own empire from scratch. And I'm giving this to you all for free. All right. Just as a way of saying thank you for watching this video. So those are the three ways to make great business ideas. You'll be able to validate that these ideas actually work because you're going to now take each of these three concepts, whichever one that you pick, and you're going to start looking at the world around you to see if they have uh, a similar way of thinking. Do they have the same problems as you, right? Some people do, not everybody, but are there enough people that have that problem to make your solution marketable, right? There's a lot of people that are following the trends of society today. All you gotta do is take something that people are already using and add it to the trend. That's what Uber did. That's what Airbnb did. Why can't you? Lastly, if there's things that's already within you as a person, you've already got certain natural skills. Why have to learn anything new? Why reinvent the wheel? Take who you are, take your talents, and turn it into a business. That's what you saw me do. I'm passionate about black people becoming successful. I feel like there are not enough leaders within our community that are actually taking the time to show us how to be able to work our way out of poverty. And so I take my passion there, I take my love for computers, I take all of the skills and the gifts that God has given to me, and I turn it into a business. And one of the things that you're gonna find as you're working through number three is going to take time for you to put the pieces of the puzzle together in the right place. So, you know, in the past, I have worked for computer companies and I didn't so much like it. And it wasn't because of the fact that I don't like computers, but I did not like what I was doing in that position. So I still stick with the computer, but I use it in a different way, right? Even when it came to speaking, I used to do oratorical contests in the past. I will compete in contests with people throughout the state of Texas, 
um, as well as other uh, areas in the South to see if I could win these oratorical contests. Uh, and I was very competitive at it. I've won oratorical contests in the state of Texas before. So even though I kind of enjoyed that arena, I recognize that instead of just doing it in a contest, I actually have a message that I want to be able to share with the world, not just Texas, the world. And I don't want to just do it for a contest. I want to be able to um, do it for passion and a purpose, something deeper that drives me. So even when you get the pieces to the puzzle, give yourself the time and the patience necessary to put it all together in the right way. And then you will be surprised how once you start putting these pieces together in a certain way, the market as a whole will actually help you put them together in a certain type of a way because you're going to find people that are just like you. And as they tell you their problems, you're going to be able to kind of tailor your business more so in service to them because that's what business is about again at the end of the day. It's understanding the problems of people and providing solutions that are good. Okay, so that does it for this video. Make sure that you subscribe. I want you to leave me a comment. Out of the three ways to make a great business idea, which one do you feel is best suited for you? Now, you could do all three if you really want to get creative. But chances are you should probably start small. Don't overwhelm yourself because if you try to do all three and you're already kind of on a fence of, man, I can't, I can't get an idea no matter what. Just start small. Start with one. Pick your best idea, your best thought of what could work and then just continue to focus on that one day by day until you get something that works. I would rather... I'm going to say this in closing. This may be the most important thing that I've said in this entire video. I would rather that you take an average idea, but you put behind it flawless execution. than you take a world-class idea that might be the idea of all ideas. You tell your family about it. You tell your friends about it. You're so excited. You're so energetic. Kudos to you. But then when it comes to the execution of it, you're nowhere to be found. I would rather you take an idea that's basic and average and you just kill it. You knock it out of the park and how you brought it to life rather than you just have an idea and the idea does nothing more than stay in your head. OK, so make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know which one of those three ways you're going to have a great business idea. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, be your brother's keeper, share it with a friend, and I'll see you on the next episode of Black Men's Career. Take care.